garbage is yours, get some for sure. All right. Now we got us a big pan of chicken legs. We let it soak. We let it soak all night in Cosmo Q chicken soak. top pieces didn't get too much so what we're going to do is we're going to pull out from the bottom and we'll let the top pieces lay in there. We're going to do two different pans. We're going to do one pan with uh, well pull this off. I tell you before we do that we're going to go ahead and get our barbecue sauce is working we're gonna need some barbecue sauce for our crazy idea so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour us a pretty good sized pot of sweet baby rays and then we're gonna pour us a pretty good pot of cattle mix I'm gonna do one pan of Sweet Baby Ray's and I'm gonna do one pan of Cattleman's. Cattleman's Carolina Tangy Gold. Mustard face, much like uh, Ma Reese's. Ma Reese's barbecue. Came into, I'm gonna turn this one over so we don't lose nothing. Just let it sit there. And Run back down and get us a new bottle of Cattleman's right here. We're going to do some Cattleman's Carolina Gold on our free cap for the day, our crazy idea. You guys are going to be like, what the hell? I'm going to be like, why not? Whenever you do ketchup or anything, if you hit the bottle right there, make it come out. That's a secret. Revealed right there. I'm gonna get it ready now. Our secret ingredient that I want to try to get melted in there, and that's one reason we're doing it first, is we're gonna put pepper jelly in both ones. Now I have to get Texas pepper jelly credit. It mixes in really well. This here is jam. I'm gonna have to get the. I'm gonna have to get it good and hot for that to mix in. That's why I'm doing it early. Too much gelatin in it. Uh, Texas pepper jelly is set up for barbecue without too much jelly. Gelatin. gelatin still. Of course it's cold out here. We're going to uh, loosen it up with heat. Now everything will melt with heat. So might be a good idea if I just go ahead and crank up that heat. That's what Michael Q. Al told me. I did an interview with him. He said, man, you got to crank up that heat. Hot and fast is where it's at nowadays. That's a habanero pepper jelly and you know after you work with hot sauces for a while you can instantly tell the difference between habanero and jalapeno and ghost pepper and ooh, ghost pepper why even worry about it all right we're gonna dig deep in here and get some of this chicken out. It's been soaking in Cosmo Q all night long. See them little dots? That's flavor right there. A whole lot of flavor put up in there. 
three, six, seven, eight. All right, now. Okay, we're going to make up a little injection for our chicken legs right here. And we're going to put us a little Dasani water in it. Two cups. Then we're going to put us a little Talk Texas beef injection in it. What in the world? You're crazy. What are you doing? No. Got a good talk Texan on it. And then we're going to put us a little Cosmo Texas beef on it. Then I'm going to put a little talk Texan all purpose rub in it. Just a little bit. Let's see how thick it comes out. I think I may add another cup of water to it. I got a lot of chicken in Jack. Carbon du jour, get some for sure. Come in here and just do a little bit of right, right there. You gotta overdo it, just do a little bit right there. It's already got all that. Soak in it. So now we're gonna put a little bee flavor in it. How about that? I never dreamed that, did you? Now if we were doing these for competition, we get a rack and hang them upside down. That's the whole key to cooking these things. You gotta get something. You gotta get something that'll hang them like that without touching the bottom. Now you can feel it blow up in your hand, that's cool.
All right, so what we're going to do with these is we're going to get us two pieces of tin foil. Line them up like some ribs. What? Yep. Why not? Give me a second piece of tin pool. I'm going to show you how to get that flavor out of the middle of that stick. You know, pan is a thing of the past. Throw your pans away. This is a simple today. Alright, so what we're going to do is we got eight pieces. We'll kind of line them up head to head. <clears throat> I'm going to get this little <clears throat> Junior <clears throat> Junior Arrest Rub for Grub. Hell yeah. Now, I'd like to nominate Junior Arrest Rub for Grub for the barbecue party. And we're going to place our candidate into the presidential race for 2016. And what we really want to do is we want to get a president in place that will represent the true nature of the American way. And truth, truth justice in the American way is definitely barbecue. So, you know, if Junior could become president when a crook showed up to steal our funds, out of the federal general fund with a false form of project or pork belly or whatever it is, Junior Reyes can get his barbecue and just boom, right in their face. Bam, right in their face. Boom, right in their face. Bam, right in their, oh. We'll have to call it the barbecue squirt legislation. And you know, we can correct this. All we need is the right person with the right attitude. And I believe Junior Urias is our man. So join me in supporting Junior, the president of the United States. The barbecue candidate. Why not? We've had plenty of crackpots. Let's get us a good man. All right, so what we're going to do is get us a Texas crutch right here on this chicken. I'm going to pour just a little bit of this injection in here. And butter makes everything better. We're going to have to put a half a stick of butter in there. I don't know that it really matters if we cut it all up, put it all over the place. It's going to get right on that chicken as soon as that tinfoil gets all tightened up. You know how that goes. Alright, what edges together you pour your pour your mix in there first you gotta make sure it don't run out all over the place I got a lot of you know just a little tad of pork soap wouldn't be bad I was trying to figure out how to get pork soap involved in this put just a little bit of pork soap in it just a little added moisture so we're gonna take this over. We got a. We got to uh, mix up our barbecue sauces. They're starting to get hot. We don't want nothing to burn. So let me get a spoon to mix that while we're getting ready to put our chicken legs into the. We got to get that pepper jelly melted, and mixed in there, man. That's what we need. Habanero. You can write it down. If. Uh, 
you don't have that pepper jelly, you're just not going to get that kick. And actually, a good barbecue sauce, to me, will go bland in a uh, on the chicken. Actually, sitting on the chicken while it's waiting to be judged. you got to get Texas pepper jelly or some pepper jelly. Now, we went to the American Royal. We met with another pepper jelly company that was really, really good, and it makes well. And the name escapes me. If you go to the American Royal page on Barbecue Superstars under Barbecue Company, no, Barbecue Cooking, you'll see me and Frank Cox talking to him. By the way, I love Frank Cox, Wikipedia.com. He is the man. He's not a man. Y'all need to get with Frank Cox. Check on his cookers. I don't know exactly what he's promoting right now. So I'm not going to make a lot of... But he's got the best cooker in the world. And it's going wild. I want one. Whenever he gets his corrections done. Or whatever he needs adjustments done. All right, we're at 300 degrees. We got our eight pieces of chicken in there. So we're gonna come right back on over here and do our next round of eight pieces. Man, I tell you, that pork soak is good. You want to talk about big time chicken flavor? That's what pork soak is all about. Oh, wait. I got 10 pieces. We had 18 pieces in that pack. I got that from Sam's Club. And I tell you, that thing was ginormous, huge. We're just going to put eight in here. I'm going to save two of them to go on the grill when we get ready to do our wild thing. Alright, so we got our eight pieces lined up here. Let's get our injection. Let's go to work. No oh, shoot, I had a full load in there. You know, really, you have to come from the top and go in. Wow, look at that piece blow up. <laughs> That's something got blowing up, boy. Whoop. Gotta watch sticking the needle out the side. I stuck it out the side that time. Got a Hamilton Beach injector here. I don't sell them, but I sure do love them. Well, we got the uh, Chops high pressure injector. Got the four. Man, this excellent. I might go 350 on these chicken for a little while because they're not froze but they're a little stiff. I made a mistake when I started brining them. 
they had been out of the oven for probably five hours, but this is a good lesson. Uh, they still weren't, of course it's, it's winter time, they still weren't really thawed out decent. And so I put them in the brine, put them right in the refrigerator, and boy, they're really stiff this morning. All right, this one here, we're gonna go Cosmo Dirty Bird. What's the word? It's the Dirty Bird, Cosmo Dirty Bird. I tell you, you got some good stuff. You can buy it by the pound. And you can just go ahead and buy you five pounds and win you some contests next year, you know? What's the word? It's a dirty bird. All right, our sauce over here is heating up. I believe it's breaking down the gelatin where the gelatin will. I didn't know it. JT Handy's been to culinary school. That's big, man. $45,000 degree. He got the big one. Man, I'm going to have to do that eventually. I don't see how I can do it with the amount of TV and stuff I'm doing. But, uh, culinary school is good to get you around in education. So when you go on chop and stuff and you get your ribs, you got to cook it 30 minutes. You can make some cray look. Cray de la Crown BS or something. <laughs> Damn sure ain't gonna smoke no ribs, that's for sure. Kinda hate to throw that in the face of the sport. Just trying to do something, something, you know. Whiskey Bent did a good job right there to represent us. You got 30 minutes to cook ribs. Yeah! I'm on that! I got you! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Why not? That woman that cut it off the bones. Mark's one the bones. Alright, we're going to dump a little bit down in here. It's going to make it a little harder to wrap up, but. Kind of spilling it. Woo! I might have did it. I might have got it. Yay! It didn't spill out. Uh, I think I'm going to pour the rest of this in there. I ain't going to do any more. Uh, soak in. All right, 300 degrees on the top shelf. Wipe off a little bit of this juice that was on the table that got on the tin pool. Wipe it off my hand. And then we're going to travel to the crazy zone. Have you ever been to the crazy zone? Have you ever cooked something crazy? Well, that's exactly what we're fixing to do. We're fixing to go to the crazy zone. The crazy zone. Da, da, da. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. I don't think these are fit on the top. Oh yeah, if I go in front. Okay. Side by side. Action right here. There you go. Rock and roll. Roll them up. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Now, last night we had... Man, check out our... Alright, I'm going to slow that down. I don't want it to burn. Uh, we've got our barbecue sauce rolling now when you do chicken you got to heat your barbecue sauce up so to get a good thin tight coat and uh, that's what we're doing right there I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the heat off because it takes forever for that thing to cool down all right so now we're gonna go into the crazy zone last night uh, we had um, meatloaf for uh, supper and we got a little corner of meatloaf left and we got some mashed potatoes left and we got some stuff to mix with it so 
So I thought, well, you know what? I don't know if it'd be any good, but I do know what I want to try. So we're gonna get our meatloaf out. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna chop it up. I tell you, it was it was really good because I put Junior Urea's rough and grub on it, in it, and uh, flavored tomatoes. And uh, uh oh, no, I ain't trying to do culinary now. You know I can't get down like that. Well, that ain't gonna work. Okay, let's get a meatloaf right here. Chop it up. Alright. There we go. Alright, let's get our mashed potatoes. Now, how many people have eaten mashed potatoes and meatloaf in their life? Oh boy, I know it's a ton of you right there. So we need our mashed potatoes. We're going to pile them on top. Hey, we're going to save some money. We're going to reprocess our food from last night. All right, now we've got to put us a little. Uh oh, bump, bump, bump. Junior Reyes rubber grub across it because that potatoes going to eat up a whole lot of food. And then. We're gonna put umpayo, Carolina mushroom sauce. Da, 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 just a little bit. All right, now, since we've got some fantastic Texas all-purpose seasoning, this is definitely an all-purpose dish here. We're gonna put some of that on. Alright, so we got our base on what we're going to do. Now, we're going to pull it together. See, there's no way we can make a hamburger out of that. There ain't no way. We need something to pull all this together. So, we're going to get it all and throw it up here in our bowl. And we're going to add cohesive cooking material to it in order to pull it all together. I did make one mistake. Whoop, let me just dump it back out. Before we do that, I need to get in here with my hands and I just need to mix it all together and work it all together. I didn't want to put too much cattleman's in it because that cattleman's will just dominate and overrun everything I got in here. I tell you, there is one other thing I can do here. I believe, I believe I can fly. I believe I can uh, add to it now. And that, my friend, is three eggs. It's a loaf. It's potatoes. No, 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 no. It's a barbecue superstars. Went crazy, is what it is. Yeah. To make it taste good. We're gonna put a little pancake mix in it. Now we heard from another guy the other day put the pancake mix in the batter for the fish. So we're gonna put some taste good in here. Get 
this little hunger jack hungry. Hungry jack. Alright, let's put us a little hunger jack in it. Right on top. Okay, it'll dry you up, make a cake out of it right there. But now, that ain't enough dry you up. Now we're going to put a little Martha White cornmeal mix on it. Okay. There we go. Oh! Let's see if we can get our egg mixed in here without. Oh, I'm going to do a little pharmacy compound in right here. They always put powder around on the board and mix it up. So I'm going to put a little powder around on the board and mix it up. Uh oh, starting to look like something. Starting to look like something. And they mixed up in there, so. <laughs> you wanna see how pharmacists will do this? Pretty good. I like that all right. All right, we gotta keep it dry enough to make a good hamburger. But I want to keep it wet enough to uh, you really miss me. You need one more ingredient that I want to put in it. And I hope you don't mess up the consistency, but I can always put more pancake batter in it. And that, my friend. Cheese sauce. You can't make this without cheese sauce. Come on. What? We got us a little stadium style cheddar. It's just gonna make it better. I mean, we ain't gonna put much of it in there, but we got to put a little bit of cheese sauce on there. <coughs> God dang! Well, we was going to put cheese sauce in it. <laughs> Do not purchase my button is up. I know sometimes that works. Okay. Now we're going to put just a little bit of cheese sauce in it. The cheese working through it. Cheese makes everything better. Now the question is, is we need to put a little more pancake mix in it. Let's just put a little touch of pancake mix in it to dry it up and let's get over here. Cook us some hamburgers. I think uh Pancake mix will taste better than Martha White flour on it. A little bit of both. Alright, we're going 
dry them up just a little bit. And we're going to go over here and get on our carbon du jour. We're going to cook us up something. Hamburger, cheese sauce. Might be more like biscuits. You know, I dreamed of doing this. I sure did. That's crazy. I did have a dream about doing this. All right. Now, let me wash my hands. Let's see if I can get this over there to the grill without getting the camera all messed up. camera moved over there and now I've got a cast iron pan I can put on the carbon du jour I might go ahead and do the first one that way so I see how the consistency works on it the carbon du jour is real good and hot so let's get over here and do some crazy thing crazy stuff I know we're getting wild and crazy right here out there. What in the world is he doing? Well, it's winter time. Everybody's getting snowed on. So we're going to have a good time. Forget about the snow for a few minutes. <clears throat> Put just a little bit of butter in the pan. I don't know that I really need the pan, but I'm gonna cook the first one in it and see how it does. go and put it in the pan. I'm going to put a little Junior Urea's Russell Grub directly on it. I might try one both ways. I'm going to try one in the pan. I'm going to try one on the grill. Great. It's a barbecue superstars fritter is what this is. Yeah, man. This thing acts just as good as hamburger does.
can you fry a hamburger? I mean, can you fry mashed potatoes? But we about to see. Look about like a hamburger, don't it? The way it acts, pats up. Put one right on the grill right there. All right, carbon is yours. Get it rolling this morning. Crank up that heat. She's hot. All right, let's just give it a few minutes to cook and I'll clean my hands up.
Cook them in a pan, you can't cook them down there. Gotta cook them in a pan. I'm gonna let that one go though. It's cold out here. <clears throat> now I might take the rest. Put them in the PG 500. See how they do. Probably do better. Probably take longer. Man, that stuff's good. All that rub, you can't go wrong, really. Let's do whoop. let's do this number right here. Wow, that's gonna make me two eggs to put with that. All right, let's see now. come up with a better way to do it.
up here. Let's get her one that's on the grill and set it on there. I believe you can make anything barbecue seasoning. Anything. I'm gonna prove right here this morning. This stuff here. <laughs> it's more than a hamburger, it's a cake. Hey, for the sake of our experiment, I'm going to take chicken. leave it like that though so uh, if we can move it up and it starts getting real hot I think that things will do good Let's go over here to our pan. Let's see how we're doing over here. I think the smaller spatula do better on these than the big one. And I'll put this one in here later. Yeah, 
looking good right there. Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Wow. Uh-oh. Big breakfast coming on. Eggs. And those hamburgers right there. Oh, looking good. Man, I tell you that that uh, cornbread crunch. Along with the man, it's just so many flavors in there. It's just really, really, really good. It rose just a little bit. I think we're gonna try and eat them two different ways. I'm gonna put syrup on one syrup on a half because they're so big syrup on a half and I'm going to put cheese sauce on the other half I'm going to fry two eggs with it <laughs> I 
I don't even know how I came up with this. Oh, that one's gone. I don't know which one I want the most. They both look so good, I gotta make a toast. Wow. Uh-oh. Home run. Now uh, we're gonna put that in the eggs. <laughs> good as that stuff tastes. We're gonna put that in the eggs. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I get a little brisket? Can I get a little uh, breakfast with that? Get a little something, something. Get on a plate. I believe cooking it in this pan might do better than the PG500. I might have been wrong about that because that, that little coating on it is unbelievable. Now this is on carbonated steel charcoal. We're going to roll this out three eggs. I'm going to have to write the recipe down on that. I had that uh, meatloaf worked on pretty heavy too. It's throwing flavor into it. It's actually a pretty complicated recipe. I can't eat all that. There ain't no way. I'll be. I have to go lay down.
get two of her. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Yeah, let's just get one out. Boy, that's beautiful. Look at that PG500 doing a job on that thing. All right, let's go back in the... Now let's do our little eating part of it. And let's see. Man, there's just so many different ways you can go on this. I just about ate all this one. I'm going to take this one off. There ain't no way I can eat two of them. Okay. We're going to get this one cut it in half. Okay, I'm going to go. We're going to go syrup on this one. <clears throat> that cheese sauce was a nice spin on it. on this one. Oh no, I know I didn't do that. And this one, then we'll go cheese sauce and a little bit of syrup. There you go. Oh no. What in the world are we doing here? Who? Man, okay, let's get a little bit of egg. <laughs> I don't know what all I did on this thing. Oh, man. Let's try this one. Big cheese sauce on it. Man, Junior the Rats Rub for Grub is a breakfast rub. Let's try our mix.
Man, I need about three more eggs. And I'm full. Dang. I sure wish I could eat that one. No, I got too much to do. I'm not even going to go there. I don't know. It's messing with my head, folks. <laughs> that one right there. <laughs> Woo, that's good. Holy kamole. We're going to have to give that a barbecue superstar. Hell yeah, right? Exclusive barbecue chicken star right there. Dang. The only thing I was really going to do to those chicken legs. Go ahead and roll them up in the sauce so you can see it. That's really the main thing. I'll try to show you a little competition for the chicken legs. Oh wow, that was good. I gotta protect that one. I gotta protect all of them. I think I'm gonna put them all on the tin foil inside the PP500 and uh, just let them cook a little bit while I do these legs right here. I'm going to take one of those over to my mom. burning it. It's just browning it. Man, that's perfection. I can see making pancakes and everything. They need to come up with a piece of steel or aluminum, whatever they're using. And put it so you can cover that and use that as a, without the grill on it. That's awesome. I know our legs aren't done yet, but... Now the meatloaf and everything was pre-cooked. Keep that in mind. I wasn't trying to cook meatloaf, I was just trying to cook eggs and bread in that middle. Alright, let's get our One of them. <coughs> Boy, our carbon du jour really did a good job on it. All right, so what we're going to do is Yeah, a small high container 
is what you're worried about with chicken legs. Small and high. Why is that? And I'll show you exactly why. Trying to get our sweet baby rays. We're going to dump it in our small high container. Pepper jelly. Our pepper jelly is totally absorbed in. chicken, which it needs to cook for another 30 minutes. Dip it down in there. Now what would be good is if you got a glass and it wouldn't even turn over. And then you hang it on the rack. It hangs upside down. I haven't got a rack, so I'm going to lay it right here so you won't look at it. You can on the shelf. And, uh, chicken's good and hot. Making the barbecue sauce run off. Now we've got the barbecue sauce on, so it'll make a good even coat. It's not going to make a good even coat without uh, being warm. Line us up a few sweet baby rays across here. Sweet baby rays makes a beautiful look on competition. Anyway. It is the perfect barbecue sauce. You know, I don't care if McDonald's use it or not. Uh, it's the perfect sauce. Look at that coat. My vantage point, anyway. Hang them so we don't make any marks. Oops. Okay, we're going to do three with Sweet Baby Ray's. Four, I'm sorry. Now we're going to get another kind of high one. It's not quite as high. We're going to put our mustard base in it. Mustard base is great on chicken. It really is. And our, as you can see, our uh, pepper jelly has melted in there completely. Perfect mix. This is not quite as high and tight the other one but, you know cheap rolls like this one I got a cheap thing of eight and half the roll stick and you lose four sheets just trying to get the original thing loose makes the roll not last very long the first piece of good off you get off is great but after that 
in bad shape. Now, I'll do a total dunk chicken leg. And this stuff really clings to me well. And that's a pretty coat. That made a perfect coat on that one. Sure did. Really, I can just do it with my hands because it's not as tight. I can get it out of my fingers. Boy, look at that pretty coat. Cattleman sticks to the meat well. Beautiful situation there. Let's get a little tighter shot of that for you. That's uh, that's that's something to see right there. Now that's Cattleman's Carolina Gold pepper jelly in it. Watch this piece as it comes out of here. Hang it. If you got a rack, look for a rack you can hang that into the hang that piece. Man, that's beautiful. Oh, what a wonderful show. Well, we had us a good time today. Well, if you had a good time. And uh just want to show off and take some tight looks at these chicken legs we got laying across here. I had a fun time making those sweet baby rays. Sweet baby rays. Yeah. Cattleman's Carolina Gold. Well, that's a pretty coat on them things. Put them in the oven. In the cooker for five minutes. And then, uh, Dunk it again, dunk it a second time. Look at this steam. All right, well, y'all have a good day. You know, I tell you, we did some crazy stuff, we did some good stuff. We did a whole lot of stuff. We hope y'all have a good day today, too.